Okay, well today we're picking out carpet samples for the loft. And so one of the easiest things to do is just go check out the samples at the carpet store or big box store and you can bring them home to your living space and see exactly what they look like. Also, something that's helpful is if you do screenshots and make a collage and you can kind of make a collage of the different colors and kind of see which one looks best that way. That helps me a lot. And this particular brand, which is Shaw, they have a, a room view. So what you do is you just go to their site and you can upload a picture or take a photo of the room, which is what I did. And you can scroll through each carpet sample and that is very helpful. So we narrowed this one down by doing that because you can see it, it does have lines in it. And when it's out on the, the whole square footage of the floor, you can actually see the lines. They're, they're more defined and they stick out more. So we didn't like that look at all. And then we did that with each one of these and we've actually got it narrowed down uh, to one of these colors here, one of the more gray. We actually are gonna have them come out and measure tomorrow and give us an estimate. They said they had to measure first before they could do the estimate instead of using ours and it's free. So we're like, that's fine. But um, pretty much got it figured out to, we narrowed it down to these two with the room view. Um, so stay tuned to see which one we actually pick. Fun times. Oh, and one more thing. This is where it's going in the loft area here. So right here and then also in the master closet. We got our stair treads in there right now, but so that's all going to be carpet. Okay, everybody, this is the point where we start talking about our carpet and give you all the juicy details. Yep. Maybe, maybe the dry details. I don't know if they're that well, juicy. I mean, the first thing you got to do is get the floor ready. <laughs> so it's, it's a simple task for carpet uh, because it's very forgiving is we had to scrape the floor to get all of the drywall mud off of it. Uh, Cindy went around and, and made sure there was none of the screws sticking up or any nails or staples. And other than that, uh, vacuum real good. Yeah, we use a shop vac. And it, it did take a while. It probably took 45 minutes to get everything scraped up, maybe even longer than that, vacuum. And then, of course, at the end of the day, you can see how tired we were. We were just laying in the floor. Yeah. <laughs> we were excited about getting new carpet, though. The carpet people come around. They put, uh, they put a tack strip all the way around the outside perimeters. That's for the carpet to actually stick to. And then they lay down the uh, padding and then the carpet. So the type of carpet that we got, uh, it did cost $1,800 for the pad and the carpet and installation. Uh, they do come out for free and do uh, the measurements and everything for you and let you know how much it's going to cost. But we did kind of get a more higher end carpet. So it has like a moisture barrier, a pet barrier underneath. It, it, it's like it has a, a plastic layer coating. Yeah. And then we have the higher end pad. So I think ours was a little more expensive than it could have been. But we wanted to have the, the pet safe uh, with that since we do have pets and maybe plans for future pets. Uh, so $1,800 total, including everything. And then we are happy with the carpet. I mean, it looks great. As you can see, Tony's vacuuming mm -hmm. it here. But. That, was about my, that was my only pet peeve. I mean, we had a local company put it in. We like to buy local as much as we can. And, uh, uh, you know, they didn't vacuum afterwards, so there was a bunch mm -hmm. of the little shards everywhere, you know, especially around the outside edges and where the seams were. So I had to go around and, and vacuum all that up. But, I mean, uh, that's a little... You know, yeah. just a bit of the thing. You know, we probably would have vacuumed anyway, but it, <laughs> they did. They there were some big pieces that were left, but it, you and I are used to cleaning up, I and mean, when we clean up after every contractor that's coming. But we wanted carpet up on the loft. Um, that's where the bedroom is going to be. So it's mm -hmm. just nice getting out of bed and having a nice soft under your foot. Um, also, you know, up on the loft is not going to be a high traffic area, mm -hmm. so. It's not going to wear out nearly as fast. Plus, we got a better one. And two, also, is that, uh, you know, no one's going to come up there with shoes. You know, down, yep. down, down below, maybe, you know, a visitor comes in or somebody comes in accidentally with their shoes on. That's okay. We've got a concrete floor. Uh, but up here, you know, it's not going to ever see foot traffic with shoes and mud and whatnot. And uh, 
but it's uh right and, and it's just nice and warm yeah. and because it's not a heated floor up there so that yeah. also helps with the heat you know right so like tony said with the with the carpet you don't want you really don't want carpet in a high traffic area or high traffic pet area where they're going to be coming in and out doors and things like that so we we've had carpet before and we actually choose usually not to have carpet in those type of areas but up in the loft we did want that kind of warm feeling and and carpet is nice you can't beat the feel of the carpet under the feet yep. i mean it's, it's just super yeah, it's a luxury item so we we decided you know that's the reasons we wanted it up in the loft if you have any comments we love to hear those uh, we like to answer questions about the pole barn since it is a kind of a high <laughs> it's a high question popular item right now People have a lot of questions and um, want to do pole barn builds. Uh, so if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our channel. Click the ringy dingy dingy, as Tony dingy, says. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so you get all the future notifications. And we appreciate you guys watching as always. And we'll see you in the next video of RV Barn Dominium. Thank see you. See you later. Hey, everybody. They just finished our carpet. So I'm going up the steps. Tony's already started vacuuming. They just literally left five minutes ago and he grabbed the vacuum for all those little remnants that you see. And I couldn't remember what the carpet looked like. It's got more gray and white than I thought, but I think it's really pretty. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Let's go see the closet. There's Tony vacuuming. I think that's the only second time in his life that he's vacuumed. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, it's thick. We actually got the the higher end carpet. It's uh it's thicker. Yeah. So the picture it almost looks like when I'm looking through the lens, it has a little bit of brown running through it. It does not. It's completely gray, almost the color of the wall, just a hair darker with white running through it. So I don't know if there's a shadow on it, but it does not have any brown in it. It's just gray and white. <laughs>